Hello everybody and welcome back to Slime Rancher where we just got our beautiful golden statue and I'm very very pleased by that. Let's go have a look at the prices over here. We've already crashed them now. Uh, yeah. Oh my life. Honey is going up. Wow. Keep an eye on that. But we have a different... Uh, ooh. Okay, all the food is dead. Right, let's go sort this out. I'll see. I'll see. This hasn't been upgraded. I keep being told. You haven't upgraded that one, so let's do it. Let's do it. Let's get it all upgraded, upgraded with sprinklers and with nutrient soil. Oh, uh, it wasn't meant to have a scarecrow, but now it does. So there. Grow more cubries. Seems to be all we have at the moment is cubries. Uh, okay, we have 50 of them. Get out the way! You slimed it! Ugh. Unfortunately, what we're going after today is uh, something that doesn't need cubries, it's something that needs heartbeats. <laughs> so let's see if we can get a few of those. Okay, they've run out. So I need to pop another one in. So they'll... No, not a cube. Ah. It's okay, we can... We can remove the crops for 10. Heartbeats, thank you. And in there. And in there. And we did have a few in here as well. But we're gonna have to go and find carrots and things probably as well. Or just wait for them to grow. Because I want to go and pop some Gordos, and um, the one I know of the most is the one in the Indigo Quarry that we keep going past, and that's the one I want to do first. There's also a Boom Slime. Now, let's have a look at the Slimepedia. And remind myself of what they like. Oh no, they're Briar Hens. Ugh. Oh, that's frustrating. I wonder if I can put hens into... I don't even think I can put them into the uh, silo. They're going to be horrendous because I know there's a, a boom slime. A mint mango's honey. Rad is ococca. Rock is heartbeat. I mean you can feed them any meat. But it's going to have to be some kind of meat. I'm going to have to go around collecting chickens to feed to this thing. <laughs> oh, that's frustrating. Okay. Well, in the meantime, I think we need about... F I think if it's their favourite food, you can get away with 40. So I'll just wait for those to get better. Um, one Kubri in there. Nine of them. Two mint mangoes. We need the mint mangoes. Let's go and plant them. Let's go a bit faster, shall we? I could go around here and pick up chickens and take them over. And if I have about 80 normal chickens, it'll probably override the fact that it's not the favourite chicken. If I can find briar hens, I will. That will be quite frustrating. Okay, well, I guess since we've got a ton of cubies anyway, I may as well go and feed them to the guys down here. That's pretty impressive, all these crystals on the on the ceiling that we've got now. Yeah, I know, you're hungry. And you guys are hungry. 
But we're about to, I think in the next couple of days, we'll be able to sell all our honey plots, and that's going to be pretty cool. Especially considering if I feed these guys any more, they're going to have honey plots all over the place. But I'll feed them anyway because that's the sort of person I am. Well, did I ever activate that? Or is it just moved? Before I left the ranch, I found myself sleeping most nights in here. It's sorry, in this here grotto. I'd fill it full of phosphor slimes and watch them dance in the dark. Drifting off, I'd pretend I was drifting in a sea of stars across the limitless black of space. It's funny how you dream. Sorry, how when you dream, you sure become a sucker for the impossible. Every time I woke to find myself back in the grotto, I'd feel a little sadness. But then it was back to work. There was always something that needed doing. Aww. Okay, eventually get some uh, some other upgrades for the other areas, hopefully. All right. I'm saving my heartbeats. And I think I'm going to sleep through the night. I think that's what I'm going to do next. And in the morning we'll see what the, what the money looks like. And we'll also hopefully have another crop of heartbeats. And then we can go and explore. So our next 7z will cost us 20,000 and that will just be for some colours. But it's what you get beyond the colours. The colours are just like filler to make it more expensive. The whole point of this thing is to make it expensive, unfortunately. Got loads of mint mangoes. I'm going to pick a few of them up so that I can replace the two in the silo. That's important. One day I'm going to forget. Oh, I never checked the price of the honey slimes. Hang on. They are up to. They have stabilised at fifty-nine. That might be a. That might be the time to sell, actually. Okay. Well, I'll see how many heartbeats I can get, and then I'll go sell all the honey slimes. I think fifty-nine is a reasonable price for them. Get these. Especially considering how many hundreds I have. And all the tabby plots and things on the floor for grief. Right, but what I really want is, well, we'll grab as many of these as we can fit. Get the heartbeats. See, someone was saying that it looks like when you leave them to go on the floor that there's more of them. But I think that's just several drops. To be fair, they said that as well. They thought it they weren't sure which way around it was. Okay, so we've got a couple of harvests of heartbeats. But that made it run out. Oh no, it didn't. Okay, there's still some there. There's still some there. I just realised you if you check that flint thing, then it tells you whether it's run out or not. We've got enough. We've got enough to pop a Gordy. So what I'm actually going to do for now, I, I really can't be bothered with feeding at the moment. So I'm going to need an empty inventory. I'm going to need an empty inventory. So what I'm going to do for the, for the honey slimes. So what I'm going to do is uh, get rid of all these for now. Mind you, I just need one empty slot actually because I can only put the honey slimes into one slot. It's very frustrating that one. So the first place I'll probably go get some honey slimes from will be the cave, the grotto. And then I'll see if I've got any in this silo here uh, or in the boom slimes place. Which we do. We've got a whole, we've got a hundred there. And a hundred there. <laughs> Add some more in there. And a hundred in here. And a hundred probably in the other place. And then probably another couple of hundred in the... Yeah. 
in the silo in by the science lab. So yeah, we're gonna be doing a bit of selling and then we'll be doing some gordo popping. I promise we will do that. The only thing I will be selling today will be honey slimes, no matter what the prices go to. Unless I get like a gold plot and it's worth 400 or something. I need to pick up the puddle ones. I need to be a bit better with that. But there's always so much to do. I'm such a busy farmer. Okay, one batch. And a second batch. I think there was only one lot of honey in here. So I'll fill that up and then I'll hit the button. One of the 24 over there. We'll maybe grab those right at the end. It'll be good when the phosphorus uh, plots come up in price. There's a lot of them. Whee. I think it's worth the wait, don't you? The rocks are coming down, but I'll I'll leave them. They might come up again when I sell all the honey ones. There, right. Next, probably the ones over here. Another two hundred here. So there was a hundred down there, two hundred here, and I think there may be three or four hundred up the other way. So there might be about six hundred to sell. <laughs> But then I could have sold them when they were like at 20 and then I would only got half as much money for them. So it's not, uh, it's a good business plan the way I'm doing it, I think. It's what it tells you to do. I might be taking it slightly to extremes here. I bet you there's people that take it to more extremes than me though. But there's people that wait until it's hundreds. They're like, I know that one can get to 90, so I've got to wait. Okay, so that's that one done. And we, we still don't actually have enough money, even after all of those ones we sold, to get the next upgrade. Crazy, huh? Nine fifty. That will have more than fifty in it when I come back. You watch. So what I think I need to do is pop that, pop back down here and grab the plots out of like twenty or so that are out of here. Then go and grab the leftovers from the boom plot. Okay, uh, pen. Or plot collector, or whatever you want to call it. So we'll grab the ones from here. Uh, there were 50 already in there. There may well be 50 still in there because there's still ones there's still ones on the floor. I only had 49. Okay. Slam that button. Near enough. That's probably an extra hundred we got just from going back around doing those. So I'll sell those. And then we'll see what's going on in Warp Slime Kingdom. They've run out of food. I dread the day when they run out of food. Oh, oof. Chasing them around everywhere. But they all seem to actually be in the pen right now. They don't have any food. Oh, no, they're not. Of course they're not. 
I'm going to ignore that for now. And pull honey slimes. Yeah, we actually have... I can see 300. Or 290 anyway. No, that's, uh, make that 390. There's a puddle. Yeah, just 390 up here. I'm probably about, I probably, it's probably closer to 700 plots I've got to sell for the honeys. And it is important to sell them because uh, otherwise, when you run out of space, then you do need to sometimes sell them just for a little bit lower. Can't wait forever. Oh, so much money. Problem is I have to sell them all in the same day, so it does get a little bit boring ferrying them to and fro. So what I will probably say from now on is that I'll try and sell just one type of port and whichever one I feel is doing the best, I will sell that particular one. So that's that one emptied. Because otherwise it's gonna, it would be so tedious. I know I sold quite, I spent most of the episode last time just selling. And honey is quite a big one. It's quite, it does take quite a lot. So the other ones will be, not be as bad. Well, I just unlocked the plot tycoon achievement. I am a tycoon now. <laughs> yeah, that doesn't surprise me, to be honest. I need to get those guys back in their pen and get them fed. I wish they weren't so temperamental, honestly. The problem is some of the, these are uh, Gordos that I'm going to have to pop. But they've got some pretty bad requirements. Like the ones that need meat and the ones that need like... I think there might actually be like a warp gordo somewhere that's going to be an absolute pain because a, a, a gordo like that is going to oh come on guys just go back in there I know that's not going to last for two seconds but I'll stick you back in anyway Oh, I just don't want you like falling in the sea. That's what that's all. Okay, I have to get you. I don't know what time it is. It's quarter past five in the evening now. I'm gonna have to take the next day off, I think. Ah, here you go, some mint mangoes. Even if I just put a few in, like, if you give them five or six of them. I'll just do them for a bit. Okay, so put a little bit of food in. And then hopefully they'll stay put. I'm actually gonna sprinkle them with a bit of water as well. It's too much to hope that they would just stay in their pen. I swear you were split into about three there. What? Why is there tar music? Uh, who turned into a tar? What did you eat? What did you eat? Okay, there's one. So I think we've lost one to being a tar. We should have four left. What? Okay, you're getting splooshed. I splooshed you. I splush you again. Splush you, splush you. And I'll splush your friend over there. 
blush. Okay, so now we only have four honey warp largos. But that's okay. Right, oh, yeah. Before I was so rudely interrupted by you guys, uh, I was getting honey plots to sell. I need to do this by midnight, guys, okay? It's important. This is how I get the money to feed you. Honestly. That I've sold so many, that price is going to crash through the floor. I wish I could remember all the prices and like how high they actually go. But for honey, I'm pretty impressed with like something around 60. Quite happy with that. Okay, they appear to be... Yeah, they've stayed put as much as I could hope they would. Just fill up with another 50. Another two trips. Ugh, it fell everywhere. Another two trips and then we'll be good. And we'll be able to buy some nice treats at the end for, for our reward for doing all this work. We've um, sort of unlocked everything, popped all the Gordos, got all the money, got all the 7 Z rewards. By the time we've done that, hopefully the glass desert will be out. I'm hoping to be in a really good position for that one so we can go straight and do all the content. Hoping to have done all the better homes content really quickly. There we are, that's the last of that one. I'm really looking forward to the last desert because it's apparently end end game content. So it's going to be a little bit more uh, in depth than what we've had so far. Sort of new areas, but they've not really had much other than little secret areas and gordos and things like that, which is really interesting. But I think this is going to have a little bit more to it. So I'm quite looking forward to it. And I think we're going to have another four new slimes or something. So I'm going to have to make room for them. Don't know where I would put them. I have to get rid of something. There we are, 50 of those. I think the, the next lot should be the last one. And um, we're now nearly at, probably by the time we sold them, we'll be over 50,000 new bucks. So that's pretty good. Considering I used to struggle to get enough money together for things like the grotto. Or the 10,000 to open the science lab. It's like, 10,000 to open the science lab? And now it's like, yeah, 50,000 for like a new paint job on my house. It's like, how times have changed. I do get very excited about these things. There we are. I think that is the last of the honey thoughts. Well, it's the last that I'm going to sell today anyway. I'm fed up of running back and forward, and I'm sure you're fed up watching me. So we'll go and get this uh, Gordo popped. I'll see if there's any cool stuff in the 7 Z rewards first. And then, you know, we need to go back to our slime science as well. I think there's a couple of things we need to buy out of that. I think I bought most of them though. So let's purchase Silver Storm 1 and get our Daybreak and Even Time, Even Tide Chromas. Even Tide looks quite nice actually. I might try that out. And for 25,000, we can get an Overgrowth upgrade. Do it once. Dancing Mongoose is next. Yes. We did well from those honey slimes. Right, so let's try our new colour, shall we? I've got all these different colours we've got now. Robo Ranger. Ginger Snap. Maidatron. Robo Ranger. Maidatron's quite nice. 
Oh, so we're going to have a look at Eventide. Let's have a quick look at that on the house. Well, that's really pretty. I like that a lot. Let's do the whole. Let's do the whole uh, place in in uh, Eventide. And my back as well. There we go. Everything is even tied now. Unfortunately, it's like really late at night, so we can't really see very well. So let's just uh, sleep till morning. And then I'll go and pop that Gordo. Okay, so we're off. We're running. Oh, it looks nice on the gate, actually. Yeah, that's a lovely colour. I like that. Oh, you guys are ready. Oops. How could I have forgotten? Oh dear, I don't have enough. I don't need that tabby plot. May as well. While we're here. Okay, so those will be ready in 20 minutes. I completely forgot about those for the whole of the last episode and this one. Oops. It's hard to manage everything though. Let's get through this bit. Those angry feral slimes. That I like to just run past. <laughs> People were saying to me I should just uh, pick up this thing and carry it around with me, but uh, so far I've done okay. Hello. Okay, what have you got? Slime fossils and things like that again. Really? Guess I missed with all of those. Okay, that seems better. So we've got two over here at the moment. Could probably do with more. But that's not what we're here for right now. Hello. Ciao! Oops. Okay, there's tar everywhere, but we're gonna just fly straight past them. Sorry guys, I can't help you this time. We're in a rush. Okay, so here is the Grand Gordo Cave. I already nicked all the treasure pods out of here. But... Let's feed this guy. This should be about... Oh. Oh, I think I fed him a bit already. Because it should have been... Should have been 40, but I've been chucking him carrots, so... Oh, an odd onion there. Ow. I did have an odd onion. Heartbeats and cubies, I've got those already. Oka, oka, and a pogo fruit. I can have the pogo fruit back. Right, well, this is a teleporter. That goes... Let's just go back to my... Goes back to my lab. Can I teleport from my lab back to there is the question. I can. Oh, that's good. So that's a super quick way to get to the indigo, indigo quarry then. I like that. That's good. Now, were there any other Gordos around here? I don't entirely remember. I know there's a cave up there. Did that have anything? 
Now I was going to go all the way up here onto this and then fly around up to there once my energy is replenished and then go across to here. There's a box up here which we shall smash and it's got a couple of pens in it. Oh well, not too great. Just want to see if there's any more Gordos that I've missed. Was there one possibly in with all the crystal slimes? Which I think might have been around here somewhere. Uh, I can't remember. I don't know my, my way around here very well. Uh, treasure pod. Do our Gordo hunting. It's good that we got a teleporter, but I, I want another slime key or something. Cause there are doors that I haven't opened. So where is... there's a teleporter there. Was that originally a Gordo? I don't remember. I don't remember if I've popped any in here yet. I don't think I have. Let's see where that goes. So that goes there as well. And it seems to just take you back to the last per last place you were. Last place you came from. Okay, but is this the Crystal Slimes area? Oh no, this was the cave again. Am I? Oh, I'm being so silly. I think I turned myself around. Okay, well let's go this way up to the Crystal Slime Cave. I'm sure there was something cool in there. It was like up here. And then you have to kind of go up here. It's a sort of place they might have hidden a Gordo. I, mean, I don't have enough to pop one at the moment anyway. Have they hidden one in here at all? Oh, what a dangerous place to be. Massive, boomy, crystally, horrible slimes. If there's anything hiding around here, then it's going to cost me a lot of health to find it. I can't hear anything above these guys. in there. A hologram. A message or whatever you want to call it. Down there. It's hard to explore around here because of all the craziness going on. I don't think we've got any Gordos here. I know I have a boom gordo. Mm. I'm almost certain there's more here. Advanced treasure cracker required. I'm certain that there's not just one. Yeah, I'm certain of it. I'm sure there's more. I will find them though. But I think I will probably have to find them next episode. 
because I'm out of time. So that's it from me. So I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, then please do leave me a like. If you'd like to see more Slime Rancher, then please do subscribe and I'll let you know when the videos are out. I hope to see you next time. In the meantime, please look after yourselves and keep being awesome.